Hello everyone, and welcome back to Spirit of the North, where our adventures have taken us deeper and deeper into the mountains, and now we are pretty much equal with the source of the corruption, and hopefully we will be able to find our way, however mysterious the way may be, to the top of the mountain and to the end of this mystery soon. We have found ourselves another staff, but unfortunately I don't know if we will be able to find its owner. I will carry this as long as I can and try to reunite yet another one of the lost souls with their past. Oh, 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 no, that's just the spirit glittering away. And I feel that we have to be getting really, really close now to the end of this journey, the end of this mystery, maybe to the point where we can finally have some answers for our curious fox. But to be honest, my friends, I have no idea. I have thought that over and over and over again. And it seems like chasing this streak of red in the sky has led us higher and higher into the mountains, but still the path goes on. So I'm not sure when the journey will end. But I am very grateful that at least along the way, it seems like we're able to try to do something good and kind and reunite spirits who have become lost from themselves, be able to remove some of this toxic sludge that seems to be destroying the landscape and bringing a little bit of balance back into life. All right, where are we going next? I think up. Up should be our goal because it seems that maybe somewhere up, if I can get up here. Aha, there we go. Another one of the lost spirits waiting for us. There are many other bones here. Many other unnamed memories. But I can't help but feel as though the ones that we have stumbled on right around here, maybe they were so important because they were trying to lead the way and protect their people. I don't know if that's true, but it's just the sense that I have. Ah, oh, we're going to need to find a place to activate this. I gotcha. All right, right over here. There we go. One of the wind tunnels that will hopefully lead us wherever it is we need to go next. I just get this feeling that the further on we go, the less and less chance we have of going back. All right. There's clearly only one path ahead. So now where? How many humans were here? They've stacked their stones. Here, this is definitely an answer to the human question. They've stacked stones. They've left behind paths. I wonder why you would put stone paths down on a stone floor in a cave. Maybe it's just because this place was important to them? Oh! Oh! Oh, and I don't even have the spirit energy because there's no flowers growing up here. But what are the chances of one of the flowers actually being here in all of this? Oh. Well, I'm going to need some of that spirit energy in order to turn. Wow. Oh, wow. Look, you can see the center of it. Where all of it just begins to bubble and flow out. But how am I going to... How are we going to manage this? If I don't have any flowers? I definitely need to turn this one. And I wonder, actually, now that I think about it, what's the relationship between the rune stones and the corruption? Why does it react at all to what happens with the rune stones? 
And how far back am I going to need to go in order to find... Can I go up there? I wonder... So I can go up here. Interesting. Interesting. And if, well actually, if the bubbling was coming from that pit, why can we go this far? All right, can't go that any further. Hang in there, little fox. But how far back do we have to go to find some of the spirit flowers? This is going to be a little trickier than I anticipated. Let's see. Nothing up there. There's patches of grass, but no glow of the blue over here. So that didn't help us. And how far back do I need to go? I think we just need to find one flowering blossom. Whoops. Easy there, little fox. We just need to find one little seed, one little flowering blossom. But we've come so far, I don't know. Aha! Alright. Let's go ahead and grab this. And then we'll go back. There. Too bad we can't just like pick one of the flowers and bring it with us. That might make this a lot easier. But now we know, all we is go back for a little bit more of the spirit energy. You never know when you might need it. And how hard it might be to find. Okay. And where to now? I can't reach that spot up there, but I can come over here. There we go, and now I can get up further. But what is the relationship between the runestones and the corruption? Like, if people had enough time to carve on those stones- oh no! If people had enough time to carve on those stones what was going on, with the corruption, couldn't they have figured out some way to free themselves? Ugh, this is extremely slippery. Alright, let's try again. This shouldn't be as difficult as it seems to be. There we go. Alright. Yeah, see? The runestones are even drawn on here, too. Oh good, and there's another spirit. I saw another spirit flower. And I wonder, let's try sending the spirit fox across. Because if we don't make this jump, we'll be able to go ahead. Yeah, there's more energy here if we need it. Just a couple of little flowers growing way high up here in the clouds. But if we need just a bit more energy, it's there. Okay. Oh, one of these. Okay. Ooh. Okay. No, careful, little fox. Okay. And... Ah, dang it. Okay, come on. We're gonna get down there in time. Almost. I think this is what we have to do, because we can get there just in time. And that opens up that. Yes. That's definitely what we needed to do. Working together with the spirit fox in order to open up the different pieces. Now, we should just be able... Let's 
to make sure we have enough energy. Because this is very slippery since it's covered in all that nasty tar. Yes, we made it! Alright. But still we're not at the top. Every time, every time, I think we have finally finished this journey. There's still more. I can't believe it. Okay, we made it safely. Not that safe is- oh my gosh! What? So many bones. How do I even make sense of where to go next? Through here? The spirit fox is definitely upset. Oh, I think I need to go back over there and change the position it's in to something new. Is that the case? Or perhaps not. Hmm. Maybe over here? There is actually a path down there. Going somewhere. Oh look, yes, there's a path over here actually. Alright. So maybe over here. And what did we just find? More of the history? What is this going to help us learn? Why? Hmm. Is this the place we need to go next? Or is that the place we've come from? I think that's where we came from. And I think we need to go here next. I just can't quite piece together. what is needed over here. And I think I actually need to have more spirit fox energy, so let's go back. Maybe I missed something? Uh, let's think. <sighs> Finally. It took a lot longer than I care to admit, but I ran all the way back down to the very entrance and searched and searched and searched until I stumbled upon this staff. And now, my friends, I think we have the final piece to be able to unlock the puzzle of where we go next. So let's go ahead. There. The only thing I could think is that there is actually one of the skeletons here who happens to be a former priest. And perhaps if we bring him this staff, will he unlock what we need? Or is it still locked to us? Please? Yes! Oh, thank goodness. I was worried that there wasn't gonna be any way to get in here. But for the first time, one of these people actually unlocked the next path forward. Oh, I'm so relieved we were able to figure that out, friends. I really wasn't sure if we had climbed so high and come so far. Oh, wow. Just to be lost at the very end. All right. A cave full of ash. Memories of people who used to live here. The stones they built trying to hold off some sort of fate that destroyed their society. Where are we headed to now? In the cracks of the light, the spirit flowers are growing. Oh, wow. I wonder why 
the parasite plants glow the way that they do. Oh, oh good, I can actually <gasps> destroy one in here. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go back down to get more spear energy. We've learned the hard way, absolutely not to turn our back on that. This is so poetic to find just a small patch growing with the light. There we go. And these temples that seem to be built into the side of the mountains. Altars, staffs, maybe the staffs used to carry the spirit energy. And so the people who used to live here had the people with the staffs to help them figure out the next steps to unlock everything. There we go. There you are, old friend. Now we have to make sure to reunite them, I think. The higher up we're going, we can't just keep running past. It seems like these people are actually holding... Oh! I didn't mean to fall down here. That's okay. But it seems like these people are actually holding... The corruption at bay, perhaps? Oh, here we go. Alright, there's another path over here. The door is locked, but... All of them- Whoa! They were all corruptions. <gasps> the spirit! He's turned red! Did he get corrupted going through there to try to unlock it for us? Are you all right? Oh my gosh. What do I do? I don't have the spirit with me. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I need to get up? I think I need to get up in order to start maybe destroying things? We've been separated from the little spirit! This is not what I expected to happen. I had no idea how lonely it would suddenly feel without his little glowing self here. And how do I get it back out? Oh my gosh, what do we do? Do I spirit bark this? But I don't have... I don't have the spirit with me! Is he trapped? Oh look! Back here. Is he trapped and corrupted himself? Oh wow. Wow, 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 where are we now? Where are you, friend? There's two paths here. This path leads up to here. And this path leads us back over here. Okay, can I imbue... Am I supposed to imbue the energy we've got? Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Do I imbue the energy? In here? Oh, we're stuck again. I can't believe this. All right. Well, my friends, I'm going to have to once again try to unravel the riddle of where we're supposed to be. I had no idea. Uh, can I get up here? Maybe carefully. I had no idea that I would almost, almost, almost. Okay. This just leads us up to these guys. So now we've got all of the spirit energy, but what on earth can I do with it without the spirit himself? Are we supposed to get over to the other side somehow? Oh, oh, <gasps> good. Okay, I think I figured it out. 
We can still zip across. So we've at least still got our spirit jump, even if we don't have a bark and all of the other things that we need. And with that in place... <sighs> so close. Alright, we'll try one more time. And then I will try to unravel the mystery of where we need to go next. To share with all of you when we come back to the ever-evolving... Ah, oh, we made it! Seemingly never-ending story. Of what these two are up to. And what they need to accomplish together. Alright. Alright. He's corrupted and hurt. Oh no. Alright my friends, if you guys could, do please leave a like for the adventures of our little spirit foxes. They have come so far together. And I can't leave him suffering like this now. Can I, can I pursue him? Can we still separate our spirit in order to chase him? And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!